First tonight, a fire took down a Spartanburg County woman's house and a piece of her family's history. Now, months later, she's on her way to getting a new one, thanks in part to the people she was with when she wasn't home. WF5 News Force Mike McCormick is live and local tonight in Boiling Springs. So, Mike, who's helping her? Her family here at Boiling Springs High School. This is her home away from home. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Look past the shovels and focus on that laugh. It lightens even the heaviest of hearts. I cried like I'm doing that. <laughs> Brenda Hurst lost a family heirloom last summer. As a matter of fact, I sort of researched it a little bit, and it was right around the 1900, 1910 area that that house was built. Her home that hugged generations burned while she was at work. First thing I do is give her a hug. Alexis Org did for Brenda what she's been doing for students and staff at Boiling Springs High School for some 21 years. Although I'm a custodian, I'm a counselor, you know, I, I went to many, many bathrooms where children were crying, didn't have no idea what they cried about. I go there and I hug them and I said, I think you need a hug. The student council wanted to give the caring custodian the kind of hug. You know, I, I bought me some tissue because I know what's going to happen. Only a house could give. She means so much to us and we're trying to show it to now, back to the shovels. <laughs> the students raised well over $20,000 so far. Carpenters for Christ wanted to dig into this mission, too. But yet and still, it's a blessing, it's an honor that these kids just rallying around me like they are. Soon, Brenda will live here again in a home built by family. You know, they, they, they got mothers and they got fathers that have birthed them, but once they hit Boiling Springs High School, they become my children. They are my kids. They're my babies. Every last one of them. <laughs> oh, that laugh. <laughs> you saw some of the students there. They had mason jars. Coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, we're going to tell you why they had them at today's groundbreaking. Mike McCormick, WIFF News 4, live tonight in Boiling Springs.